Alright, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, if you already didn't figure, since we're still in the basement, and for some reason, there's no floor on the elevator. Um, I don't know, Every it's a glitch city. I mean, the whole game is. Anyway, let's go speak to LaCroix. Uh. Alright, LaCroix, LaCroix! Hi there! There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? No. I made cotton candy and gave it to everyone because I'm that awesome. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Oh no, 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 not at all. There were no problems. I didn't like assassinate half the town or anything. But there was bloody mercury and two faces and diner assassination and wolf people. Yes, yes, I'm sure it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? I don't wanna. That's what... Hmm. When you say jump, I say, where's the cliff? Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually, in Napoleon's ranks. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? No, but you are a tiny, tiny venture with the Napoleon complex. I hope you know that. I ignored those whispers. Tell me more. I'm curious, and why is the freaking chair keep, like, twitching over there? Oh well. The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. I ate them. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. No, it has nothing to do with the sarcophagus at all. It was me, I told you, I made cotton candy for everyone, and Nazis can't swim, that's why they don't know about the boat. Duh. Why this one? Should I repeat myself? Yes. I do believe I mentioned the fact that I bent the delicate laws that govern our society to allow you a chance to live. If that isn't enough, I can't give you another reason. Yes, please do. <sighs> do I want to piss him off more? Ah. Uh... Help me understand. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, Take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? But I can, technically. You, you just don't want me to. Hmm. I do have to apologize for the random, like air once in a while. I have my fan on because it's freaking hot in here and I don't know why. Um, oh, it's summer, that's why. No, I 
the air conditioning's on, and it's just really hot in my room, so if there's, like, random breathing noise, it's actually not me, it's my fan, like, oscillating. Uh, what was I even talking- oh, um, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, uh-huh. Good, but- oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. No, I didn't. What are you the talking man about? man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? <gasps> that you're a tiny Napoleon? And that there's a tiny dog in the Incarnate Sarcophagus that answers to the name Joe. But that's not important. Mm, he said blah blah woof woof, obviously. If I may give you a piece of advice, always listen to others' words carefully. Read between the lines, gauge where you stand with them and who they decry or exalt. The more you know about someone, the greater your advantage. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the day. No. No, I'm not. I am all... I am always ready to be already gone. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Talent. Go. And remember... Under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. He smirked. That's pretty damn scary. But sure. LaCroix, you're scary when you smirk. What was I even talking? I was going to mention something. I don't remember now. Oh well. I don't know why we get- I'm just, like, clanking everything around on my desk. Pardon! Uh, I don't know why we get teleported out here, but whatever. Alright. We. Alright, now it wants us to go to Santa Monica, to the Elizabeth name. Which we will do. However, um, people are fighting again. Santa Monica. Whoa, why is he um, what? Hold on. Not only is he driving for the back seat, but he is the seat. Need a ride? No, not from you, seat man. Alright, to Santa Monica. And it's always raining in Santa Monica. Okay, you can actually hear me over the brain. But we need to go down to the beach and stuff. And I hope everyone listened to the uh, guides out here. Did you never listen to it again? Let me check this. Why is it so loud? I probably can't hear a damn thing I'm saying. Oh well. say you preserve my ass i truly appreciate you not saying anything and i want you to know i take care of those who do me favors so from now on you need equipment info you come see me at my apartment don't hesitate i don't know why he's lagging hmm. what has set great mercury by the waters i just wanted to make sure you knew my appreciation and like i said before Someone needs something, I can get it. This boat, for example. I need some nasty little toys. No, never mind. Don't need those. Yep, you uh, just go do your thing. Eee, why is my computer so dark? Uh. 